Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is uh, Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are going to look uh, a little more on uh, some of the uh, products from uh, Simple and uh, we are looking at the products from the uh, Protect and Glow series and uh, it looks like this because uh, today I have taken the uh, clay mask and uh, they say it's a detox and brightening uh, clay mask uh, so they say that it will uh, clear your skin it will draw out impurities and um, pollutants uh, as a magnet so uh, how can it uh, do that well uh, the ingredients in it are some of these classic ingredients that you would normally see in a clay mask and that is a kaolin clay and it is a glycerin so your skin is not dried out too much and in this product here there is also a, a clay called a bentonite so uh, kaolin and a bentonite that will draw out uh, impurities from your skin but um it sounds very nice that it will draw out uh, impurities and um, draw out all those um, things that you would not like to have in your skin. But will it only dry uh, out uh, that or take out that? Or well, now I said this did say dry uh, because uh, a mask like this will, of course, also it. Uh, dry up your skin to a certain degree. It will uh, draw out moisture and it will draw out um, oils. And uh, those oils are of course there to protect your skin from uh, evaporation. So uh, you need to use uh, something afterwards and they also say that you should uh, do that. So use a moisturizer afterwards. Now, um, do I often use a clay mask? Well, it's actually several years since I have uh, used a, a clay mask. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, I don't really feel that I have a need uh, to use a clay mask because uh, when I do, as I describe in my videos and which you can uh, see on my uh, homepage, uh, then um, I feel that I am kind of like cleaned from inside out. So there is a natural process of uh, oils coming out of my skin without it being too much and that way it actually pushes out impurity so I don't really need something uh, like this I just need something to uh, gently wash my skin uh, every day uh, but uh, I saw this uh, clay mask here and I thought well uh, let's uh, give it a go and see how it uh, it works when I put it on um, and if you can just have a, a look at uh, how it looks it is as you can expect it is white because of the uh, the clays that are in it and no colors are added so it has this sort of um, grayish uh, color that you might uh, expect and you just uh, clean your face and then you are putting this stuff on while your skin is uh, damp and you just put a, a thin layer uh, all over uh, your face and you let it sit for about five to seven minutes and um, what I actually uh, expected would happen but did not really happen uh, was that normally when you put a, a clay mask on or it used to be like that for me uh, many years ago uh, that uh, there would be all these small dots as uh, the, the mask starts to dry up then you see uh, everywhere that you have a pore that um, a little uh, dot will, will form from the oils that are drawn out of uh, your skin. That did not really happen, but also I think it's maybe because my skin is not overwhelmingly oily, uh, but uh, also um, this goes on in a relatively uh, thin layer. Uh, and uh, it certainly, uh, I feel, works because even that it is a, a thin layer, uh, then um, it kind of like you have a grayish substance here and there but then you have areas where it's not so thick so it goes on relatively thin um, but uh, what happens is that after a little while and they say five to seven minutes I felt that even that it was not a lot I put on it certainly uh, made my face really like it felt like it was too small for my skull uh, so it really kind of like um, made the skin very tight so kind of like much more tight than i uh, remember from last time i used a, a face mask uh, a clay face mask uh, like uh, something like this uh, yes it does kind of like stiffen your face and it starts to crackle up and stuff uh, but here i just felt that it was really like drying out my skin so uh, it only has to sit for five to seven minutes uh, and then I obviously uh, I took it off after about uh, seven minutes uh, I didn't feel a need to let it sit any longer 
basically because they say you shouldn't, but also because at that point it felt really, really tight uh, on my skin. Uh, I would say that that was for me nothing um, like uh, sometimes these uh, masks can have some like a mint thing and uh, kind of like cooling effect. Uh, but uh, this one, I, I didn't feel that it had any sort of um, thing going on. It does say that uh, there is um, ginger uh, root juice in it, but I didn't feel that it was kind of like uh, being um, annoying to my skin or if I did not know it was in, I would not have uh, noticed, but uh, it is in and I'm not quite sure what it does, but I didn't kind of like feel it. So uh, when I took it off, yes, my skin did look uh, more uh, clean and uh, it didn't look reddish or anything like that. It looked kind of like more um, even skinned. And then, uh, uh, so the skin tone was quite like um, even and you might say brightened, but um, I feel that if you are taking away uh, a face mask then the look afterwards is always a little bit dry and that in itself gives a kind of like a different um, sheen or look uh, when you are looking uh, in the mirror. So uh, it looked uh, very even and uh, plain colored and um, there was nothing that was irritating or anything like that but it did dry out the skin quite a, a lot. So I just carried on and did uh, what I would normally do and that was to put on uh, my uh, serum and uh, my uh, moisturizer. And um, I didn't feel that I was breaking out the next day uh, where sometimes when you're using um, a clay mask then uh, you should not do that just uh, the day before uh, that you are going to some sort of a party because most likely you will end up with a big sit on your face. So rather do it after or do it uh, a couple of days uh, prior to a, a big event. Um, so, um, but uh, the next day I didn't feel that there was anything, uh, but that may be just be because I don't really had any sort of uh, impurities that needed to come to the uh, surface. And uh, in general, I would say that if you are maintaining a good skin barrier uh, that can that works well so that you have a natural uh, cleaning process from the oils coming out of your skin, which is not too much, but just enough to be working as it should, then uh, I would not expect a lot of um, stuff coming up uh, on the surface of the skin after using a, a clay mask. But if you in general have a, a, a dry skin that is really kind of like tight so that there are impurities uh, hidden in uh, the pores, yes, I would uh, imagine that you would uh, get some uh, pimples after using uh, something like that or in general after using a, a clay mask. Um, would I use it again? Well, no, not really. Um, it, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the, with the product. It does uh, clean up your skin a little bit. Is it something that is overwhelmingly fantastic, so I must use it again? Uh, I, I don't think so. It's just, uh, to me, this is um, just uh, another uh, simple clay mask. And it does say that it has a vitamin E in it and it has a vitamin C. But um, really, how much vitamin E and how much uh, vitamin C do you get uh, into your skin from a product like this? Also, uh, keeping in mind that in uh, this product there is a bentonite clay and there is a kaolin clay and that draw out uh, impurities from your skin. But will a product like this really be able to draw out impurities from your skin and having ingredients going from this product into your skin? Will the kaolin clay and the bentonite actually be able to not hold on to the vitamin E and the vitamin C so that it just simply stays in the product? I would think so. And uh, if you uh, are after vitamin E and uh, vitamin C, then uh, I would rather uh, use a cream that contains uh, those uh, ingredients and just go for a standard um, clay mask, which there are loads of. Uh, on the market. So, uh, but yeah, it doesn't cost the world and it is, um, it's a nice product, doesn't irritate uh, your skin or at least it did not irritate my skin. So yeah, they promise that it is a detox in Sprite and uh, clay mask and it draws out uh, impurities and pollutants like a, a magnet. So yeah, does it do that? I don't really know, but doesn't all sort of uh, clay masks uh, promise that? 
I would say this is just uh, your average uh, clay mask. And if you are into clay mask, well, go ahead and use it. Don't use it too much, I would say. If I were to use this, I would only use it once a week. They say you can use it uh, twice a week or as often as you like. Like, as often as you like, that could be every day. I don't think you should use a, a clay mask every day. It will dry out your skin way too much. And if you feel a need to use a, a clay mask uh, or something that will draw out impurities every day, I think you should uh, more look into uh, the way that your skin moisture uh, barrier uh, is working. And I have other videos about how you can uh, make your skin barrier work better. Uh, and I'll link to them up here. I would think that is a, a much better way of uh, dealing with the problem because that would be to deal with the root of the problem instead of uh, trying to um, run after something with uh, something like this. But um, yes, those were the words for this uh, product here and it looks like that. And um, if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all those things you would do uh, in order to be notified when I upload more of this sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.